Hello folks, today I got a special treat for all of you. Now, if you're like me, uh, you hate spam. And the thing that I hate the most about spam is that I have to buy spam filter software. Uh, it's just like antivirus, you buy it uh, at, uh, at a rate of some like 30 or 40 bucks uh, a year. And it's a yearly subscription. Well, I'm here to tell you, uh, you don't have to do that anymore. That's right, I said you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, the thing is, is that if you're using Microsoft Outlook, uh, you have a spam filter that's built into the product. Now, I don't know why Microsoft never promotes uh, their uh, software, uh, because they have a spam filter built into their Outlook and they also have their own uh, antivirus which is uh, security essentials uh, but uh, I'm here to talk to you about the spam filter okay this is how you do it it's really really simple at first you're gonna be overwhelmed if you have a lot of spam because you have to do this manually uh, the only difference between Microsoft's and the stuff uh, that that you buy at the store it's just a little bit easier but I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so let's do it alright so here we are in Microsoft Outlook now you go to your email that you don't you want to filter out right so what you gotta do is you gotta right click on there and then you go down to junk and then block sender okay from now on that sender is gonna be blocked you also can see it right here at uh, at the top right here at the top you can see that there's the junk uh, filter itself now the ones that you buy at the store are uh, a little different because uh, you know they'll have their own little uh, tab and then you can put like spam, non-spam, junk but the uh, Microsoft built-in filter works really really well it really does uh, it's improved uh, since the beginning of its birth which was a couple of years ago I believe right click you just uh, do the drop arrow and you can block the sender, never block the sender. Uh, you can block by domain, uh, for example, at example.com. You can you can filter that out. And you can also, if it if it does uh, capture something that you want, you just right click on what you want and put not junk. And it also makes its own list that um, it remembers what's spam and what's not spam. But let's have a look at the options, shall we? Okay, so let's click on options. Now here in options, we have uh, the options to, these are the levels of, uh, of protection that we get. And we have safe senders here on this tab, and then uh, safe recipients, and then block senders here. You can add, you can manually add it. Like I, I have a few of them here. Uh, I don't know why I get all this junk mail, but hey, who knows, right? So we just, add whoever and manually type in what we want uh, for example like someone at example.com right so if, if you're getting a, a spam from some certain type you can manually type in there you can also uh, right click and add to the junk list okay and then uh, this is you can block from top level domains uh, and it gives a brief description of what's going on here so it's it's really actually a very simple and uh, great product. Okay, so let's recap. Now I already have this junk in there. So if you want, for instance, like you get this junk here, what you got to do again is to right click on it and go to the junk and then block sender. And what it does is from now on, it'll block that sender. Now, if you experience a lot of junk mail coming in it's gonna take a lot of time for you to go through every individual I wish you could just click on one two three four five right click and then do it all uh, hopefully Microsoft will um, take that idea and go yeah you know that's a pretty good idea but uh, for now you're gonna to have to do it every individual one but it does a, it does a pretty good job also you can block by uh, certain phrases and words so if you go uh, and, and add a rule to it you know you can create a rule and then uh, right here you can uh, do it by the subject line or the send or you can even uh, add a word in the subject line you can you can choose from uh, from 
right? Or you can use what uh, the subject contains, like welcome to my website. If you notice that a lot of your junk mail has the bulk, right? So open parentheses, bulk, close parentheses, you can use that as a filter too as well. Right here you can put it in the subject line. If you find it, uh, you know, please check out. You can put that on there and you can filter it that way or sent to and you can uh, you can also delete it that way too. Their their mint product is really really good for Microsoft. Uh, you know I gotta tell you I'm giving them kudos on this. Uh, you also have advanced options here, so you can really do a lot of filtering. You can do from, with, and and it gives you the uh, specified um, specified information that you want to do. So you can do yeah filter with a specified word in the body. Uh, and as, as you go along here's your options so take advantage of this folks I mean why pay 30 40 bucks a year when you can save like in these economic times um, like why not use the tools that are there I bet you didn't even know that you had that eh? so for those of us who have uh, Microsoft uh, Outlook uh, take advantage of this. This is really, really good. It 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 not only uh, filters uh, Microsoft's uh, Outlook, but as you add external external emails such as your Yahoo account or Gmail account, it'll filter that too as well. So um, take advantage of it, folks. Uh, say goodbye to your subscriber.